Hello everyone, I'm Qi Qi Lai. The title of our paper is New Lattice Two-Stage Sampling Technique and its Application to Functional Encryption. This is a joint work with Feng Huan and Zhao Dong. The outline of this presentation consists of three parts, background, our contribution, and all techniques. First, let us focus on the background. Considering the scenario of a cycle message transmission, Taking PKE for example, we always assume that the receiver Alice first need to generate a pair of PKSK and then send the PK to the sender Bob. In this case, Bob can run an encryption algorithm and send the server type CT to Alice. Finally, Alice can get message M from CT through using her secret key. We noted that the main shortcoming of PKE is that it requires a lot of work to do public key management. In order to overcome this limitation, we can adopt IBE schemes. In this case, we need to assign an authority who will issue MPK to two parties, and then Bob can directly encrypt messages using Alice's ID. Finally, Alice can decrypt through using her secret key from the authority. In order to further increase the fine grain access control for the decryptor, we can use ABE schemes. In this case, message M is encrypted with the receiver's attribute X, and the receiver's secret key is corresponding to a function class, function F. Alice will decrypt successfully if fx equals 1. All above mentioned encryption schemes are all nothing stale. In order to further increase the fine grain access control for the encrypted message itself, we can use functional encryption. In this case, when decrypting through SKF, the receiver can just obtain the partial information as uh, FM. So we think of functional encryption as the most advanced encryption still, and it is, it is significant to construct much better functional encryption schemes. Next, we we'll recall the syntax of functional encryption. According to the above generalization of uh, encryption schemes from PKE to FE, the regular syntax of FE can be described as follows. First, the syntax of algorithm output a pair of MPK MSK. Second, the cage algorithm take MPK MSK and a function f as input, and output a secret key as kf. Here, f is a function from message space to arbitrary bit string. Third, the encryption algorithm directly encrypt message m under PK, MPK. Finally, with the skf, we can get uh, fm through decrypting the server text. In fact, FE also has a more fine-grained syntax. Compared with this regular one, uh, this uh, fine-grained syntax has the following difference. First, the function f has um, two different parts, p and g, where p acts as a predict uh, whose output is a 0 or 1, and g uh, is a function of message. Second, the message m also has two different parts, x and u, where x is viewed as uh, the index, and u the real message load. Third, for decryption, the decryptor gets a key u if uh, px equals 1 and the button otherwise. From above all, we can summarize uh, the difference between regular syntax and fine green syntax in, uh, in this way. Clearly, the, uh, those two notions of syntax are essentially equivalent. This is mainly because their function class can be expressed by each other. In this paper, we would like to focus on the fine green syntax. Note that fine green syntax does not only capture IBE, ABE, uh, PE more naturally, but also divided in uh, secret key and index into one zero key and uh, private public index uh, respectively. And this will provide many more perspectives to promote the current state uh, of us on FE. 
Next, we we'll recall the security definitions of FE schemes. Generally, in a security game for FE, after obtaining MPK from the challenger, the adversary can conduct key extraction and challenge queries in an adaptive way. Finally, the adversary outputs some information alpha on the challenge subtitled CT. In this process, we need to consider the following things. First, from the view of the adversary, the index X of the honestly generated subtitles may be public or private. Second, the challenge attribute X star and message star are chosen by the adversary in a selective, semi adaptive, or, or adaptive way. Third, key extraction queries can be separated into two parts pre challenge query or post challenge query. Fourth, the subtitle size depends on the concrete function class of F and the types of key extraction uh, queries made by the adversary. For fifth, the security for this interactive game can be defined in an uh, indistinguishably based or simulation based way. Six, of course, for the challenging message, we need to consider single or multiple challenging messages. In this paper, we mainly consider two settings of FE, private index or public index. Next, we first recall um, private index setting. According to the above statement about the private index setting, the function class of FE is generally denoted as um, P times G. Notice that after a careful consideration, it is significant uh, for us to just focus on um, P times I, uh, where I is the identity function. Furthermore, for security, we can consider two types, uh, simulation-based or ND-based. In the case of a private index, we prefer to um, simulation-based security, and it, as it, uh, it gives much more security guarantee. Here, we give the simulation-based semi-adaptive security. Notice that in the real game, the semi-adaptive is just with respect to the challenge index X star, which is children just after receiving the master public key. Then, in the ideal game, uh, it is necessary to consider uh, four simulators such that the real game and the in ideal game are indistinguishable. Then, for the case of a public index, we also consider uh, both uh, sim based or ND based security. As we are just interested in ND based one. This is because now that the index X is available for the adversary, it is, it is more significant to pursue efficiency rather than to strong security. For the function class, we just focus on the subclass of P times IP, where IP denotes uh, inner product. In particular, we focus on uh, IB uh, times IP and AB times IP. More formally, the ND based security of a public index of IE, uh, FE can be described in the following way. Here, we use the different color to indicate um, the choice of the challenge ID, challenge, challenge index in the different states. In particular, they indicate, indicate the uh, selective, semi adaptive, or um, and adaptive security respectively. Next, we introduce the current state of art on simulation-based FE. Uh, as we know, uh, the prior works have given many results on simulation-based FE. In particular, uh, BSW and AGVW have proposed two lower bounds uh, on the construction of sim FE for post-challenge queries and, and subtitle size respectively. 
So we can conclude that for single challenge case, uh, message case, there is no poly, uh, poly sim FE. Here we use uh, the first poly to indicate the number of one key query and the second poly as uh, the number of zero, zero, uh, zero key query. And then GVW give a simulation based FE which has a strong security guarantee but poor efficiency. In particular, GVW supports Q times one key and zero key queries in both pre and post challenge steps. And uh, uh, its challenge index can be adaptively chosen, but uh, its circuit size depends on the uh, circuit size of F and grows with a multiplicative uh, big O Q to four. Here we use Q to denote the number of one key uh, queries. Then uh, GKPV they uh, proposed uh, FE with much better. Um, efficiency but with the cost of uh, the achieved security. Then uh, AR uh, Agarwa and uh, AV also proposed a different SIM-based SIM FE, but all those constructions are still not satisfied uh, in both security and efficiency. So we want to ask, is it possible to further promote the security and uh, efficiency making simulation-based uh, FE to approach the existing uh, lower bound. This is uh, the detailed case of uh, current state of art of uh, simulation-based FE. So this derives the first main question of this paper. Uh, is it possible to construct much better simulation-based FE? Next, let us say something uh, on the current state of art on Andy uh, FE for P times IP. In particular, uh, ACGU proposed the FE for uh, IP times IP from combining IBE and FE for IP. But we know that even, even each building block is a, a adaptive security, the resulting FE uh, scheme just satisfy selective security. So we may consider uh, how to construct uh, how, how to construct the uh, for AB times the IP and achieve the adaptive security. This is the detailed case of the current current state of art on simulation on ND FE. And uh, our second question is. Is it possible to construct a much better Andy based FE for P times IP? Above all, the main goals in our paper can be presented as the following two items. Next, we start to introduce our contribution in this paper. The first is a mind technical contribution on new lattice two stage sampling, which is believed to be of independent interest and may be used in other lattice based cryptography. In order to explain our new sampling process more naturally, let us first recall the existing lattice, lattice sampling techniques. The first is GPV sampling. Uh, GPV says we can sample the tuple. Matrix A vector U vector Y into uh, statistically close way. This means that given a random matrix A, we can we cannot we cannot only first sample a vector U and then sample a vector Y from a discrete Gaussian distribution over lattice. But also first sample a vector Y from discrete Gaussian distribution. Uh, over integers and then uh, multiply it to matrix A from the right hand side. The second is ABB sampling. ABB says uh, that given a short matrix R, the GPV sampling algorithm uh, still works. 
we can note that in the previous construction of ABE or PE and even FE construction from lattices, this matrix R always depends on which secret key queries the adversary conduct. And in many cases, we require the adversary to first claim the challenge attribute such that we can embed the hard problem in the simulated public key. But this will inherently result in the selective security. So, if we want to achieve adaptive or some adaptive security, we need to consider how to delay the usage of matrix R. Uh, in this paper, we gave uh, um, uh, we gave a new method to delay the matrix R. In particular, in, uh, in stage one, we first choose a matrix A and a, uh, and a vector X from the corresponding distribution and then um, compute vector U. Then in stage two, given certain uh, small matrix R, we can sample vector Z and output um, uh, vector v in this way. Finally, the sampling algorithm output the tuple in uh, a a times r vector u y. We noted that this tuple satisfies this equation. The above sampling is denoted as the sampler two in our paper, and uh, it is essentially used in the security proof. And in the real FEE constructions, we will use this variant sampler one. Clearly, after setting a correct parameter, the two algorithms should be indistinguishable. Then we see our, contrib uh, we see our contribution in FEE with private index. More detailedly, our result can be divided into three cases. Three cases single key FE, uh, reusable garbage circuit, and uh, multi key FE. Overall, uh, all construction has a significant step forward in the security and the efficiency relative to the existing result. Due to time limit, I will not see too, ma too many detail details about this. From above all, we indeed obtain significant progress in simulation based FE and our result is quite um, approached the existing lower bound in the security and the efficiency. Then for the FE with public index, up until now, there is just one paper, ACGU, that has proposed ND FE for IB times IP with selective security. And uh, all construction can support AB uh, times IP with semi adaptive security. Hence, our uh, contributions are still significant, just as um, a list by this table. Next, we focus on our techniques. In fact, our technique is, in, uh, is inspired by that of Agarwa and uh, we both rely on the notion of PHPE, which means particular hiding um, predict encryption. So let us first recall Agarawa's technique and then look all differences from them. In particular, this start with a uh, uh, one zero, uh, 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 zero poly selective PHP and then up, upgrade it into uh, one poly very selective PHP, uh, one poly semi adaptive PHP, Q poly semi adaptive PHP, and uh, Q poly semi adaptive FE. We noted that we noted that Agrava has um, limitations in security and uh, server test size. In particular, although their construction is also semi adaptive. Uh, they require the adversary to commit all one key queries just after know the master public key. And this means that their construction will not allow the adversary to conduct the post challenge uh, one key queries. And their server data size is grouped with um, big O Q22 in an additive way. 
In order to further improve uh, this scheme, we adopt the uh, technique map as starting from uh, zero poly selective PGP and then upgrade it to uh, one poly selective PGP, one poly uh, summer adaptive PGP, Q poly summer adaptive PGP, and Q poly summer adaptive PGP, uh, except the Last, last step from some adaptive uh, PGP to some adaptive FE, we employ several new techniques for the three steps from uh, zero poly selective PGP to Q poly uh, some adaptive PGP. In particular, from zero poly selective PGP to one poly selective PGP, we adopt a new lattice two-stage sampling algorithm to replace the corresponding sampling algorithm in Agarova. From one poly uh, select, selective PGP to one poly semi-adaptive PGP, we adopt lightweight encoding by PKE to replace the method of, the method of nesting two FE schemes. From one poly summer uh, adaptive PGP to Q poly summer adaptive PGP, we construct a um, post challenge simulator to answer uh, post challenge one key queries and use a more efficient call free uh, set to reduce the server side size growing speed with Q. Up until now, after putting all above things together, we get the desired uh, simulation-based FE. Uh, for the case of ND-based FE, the technique is quite similar. Please see our paper. Thanks for your attention.